If you have no idea who Beetlejuice is or haven't seen the movie, you need to go and watch it. It is a icon, it is a famous, it is a classic Tim Burton movie in Beetlejuice. It's just amazing for the Halloween season and I am so happy I finally got the chance to transform myself into the one and only Beetlejuice, except as a girl version. So let's get into this look. So the very first thing I did was to block out my eyebrows. I used the classic glue stick method and I did this off camera, that way I can get this right this time. Then I primed my face using the Frida Kahlo Ulta Beauty Perfect Primer, Canvas Primer. For the foundation, since Beetlejuice is pretty much a dead person spirit, he is completely white, so I'm going to use my lightest foundation, which is my go-to Wet n Wild in the color porcelain, and completely covered my face. I'll then be using the Morphe concealer in the shade pretty much white and pretty much be blocking out the areas that I really want white and pretty much my eyebrows completely to make them disappear and make them invisible. I'll then be using my Jeffree Star Translucent Setting Powder to set everything in place. Using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, I'm going to prime my whole entire eyelid and also underneath my eye. Using the Morphe James Charles palette, I'll be dipping into this light purple, which I believe is the shade named Single, and basically putting this in the hollows of my eye, all around my eye and underneath my eye too. Out of curiosity, who has thoughts about the James Charles mini palette? Thoughts about that? I'll then be grabbing a blending brush to pretty much blend out the purple going around my eye to kind of give it that soft, sunken, hollow look to it. And pretty much I'm going back and forth between the purple and blending it. Now dipping into the darker purple, which is Escape, I'm going to put that all entirely under my eyelid and a little bit underneath my eye too. Now I'm going to dip into a little bit into the color Spooky, the black shade, and put that on the outer corner of my eye and blend it into the dark purple and also put it underneath my eye too. Now using my Kat Von D ink eyeliner, I'm going to give myself a nice thick wing on top. For my waterline, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lash Liner to really get in there to make sure it's really nice and dark. Then I'm going to curl up my eyelashes and put a lot of coats of mascara on. I'll be using the Urban Decay Precision one. For 
my new eyebrows. So I'm going to be using the black from this uh, creamy eyeshadow base palette and an angled brush. So loading up my angled brush with the black, I'm going to keep the eyebrows nice and simple and do them nice and thin and kind of like a whimsical line if that makes sense. And afterwards to make it more of a Tim Burton feel, I'm going to put some dots on top of it. Going back to the James Charles palette and to that light purple single using my Jeffree Star contour brush, I'm going to grab that color and contour my cheekbones using that light purple and I'm also going to blend that purple into my eyes shadow. I'll then be using my neon green face paint for more contouring. This is going to be for the top of my head and a little bit underneath my chin. You can always use eyeshadow for this, but I think the green face paint is going to work a little bit better in my favor. So if you look in the photo, Beetlejuice just has this like kind of green type deal going around his face because he is dead after all. <laughs> take a look not only does Beetlejuice has that green going on but he also I feel like has some moss kind of growing on his face so I'm going to be using a dark green from my bruise palette with a stipple sponge and stipple that green all over my forehead underneath my chin around my mouth and a little bit around my nose too I'll then be going back to my creamy eyeshadow palette and be using the green to basically draw some like scars on my face. So this part is completely optional, up to you. The lips, oh, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star lipstick in Weirdo, which is straight up black, and make my lips nice and black. Now, excuse me as I adjust my hair, and afterwards, I'm going to set my whole face using the Morphe setting spray. The makeup part is completely done for this look, but if you have some color contacts around, I would definitely add it because I feel like color contacts definitely add the more Tim Burton feeling vibe type going on. <laughs> So unfortunately, my only striped black and white shirt is in the laundry, so unfortunately I don't have it, but I do have a black and striped bow. In the movie, he does wear a black and striped tuxedo. But other than that, you are done with this look. I hope you guys liked this video and before I forget I just want to say thank you for those of you who helped me with a video I needed help with a look which is a Black Bride Halloween look. Um, that video will be coming out next week and here is a hint of what that video might be of. So again thank you very much and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So all my social media links are down below. Please subscribe to my channel and Halloween is very close and I cannot wait. So. I will see you guys later.